welcome back to my channel i'm so excited we are in december which means christmas is just around the corner i am about to decorate my house and put up my brand new christmas tree because i did buy a new christmas tree this year this is the one i got i will show you a picture right here i actually bought this from aldi believe it or not i was searching everywhere for a christmas tree and was about to get one from target but then I saw really great reviews on this Christmas tree that I got from Audi. But pretty lit lights and it's a seven foot tree. So I'm super excited to put this up and see what it looks like. I was actually after like a semi white tree this year. Um, but I ended up buying something to kind of frost it up a little bit, which I'll show you later on in this haul. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to put up my our new tree and also to decorate the house. So before we do that on the 1st of December, you'll be seeing this video later on in December um, because I've got a couple more videos before I put up this video. But I want to show you everything, like all the new items that I've bought for Christmas decorations this year. You get heaps of new different items this year that I'm so excited to share with you. So please stay tuned, like the video, subscribe down below for more videos from me. And let's get into this Christmas haul. So the first I'm going to show you is just a little Christmas tree that I bought for the kids' bedrooms. Now Christopher already had one of these trees in his room from last year. So this one will be Adriana's. So it's just like a Hessian based um, little tree. Um, I don't know how tall. Yes, I do. It is 60 centimeters tall. This one was from Kmart and it was only $6. So really cute tree to put in the kids' bedrooms. Um, I'm going to let them decorate these tree themselves. I was thinking about getting them like an actual Christmas tree, um, which is like a miniature size, but they don't have much room in their bedrooms. They're quite small rooms. And um, I just thought this would be more practical. It won't look cluttered with this like smaller tree. So this is the one I went with. So yeah, like I said, this one's Adriana's, but Christopher already has one from last year. Because the kids will be decorating their own trees, I got them some new baubles. They wanted these colors, so that's what I went for. So Adriana will be getting like a Barbie pink um, set of baubles, and Christopher will be getting like a royal blue set. These all um, are different, so some have glitter on them, some are plain, some have like a little texture thing on them. So yeah, this is what they're getting. And these were $3 for a pack of 12 baubles. And to go with that, I also got them these little string baubles, I think they are. They're 20 millimeter baubles and they, um, they're in the same kind of color theme as the big ones I got, but this is what they look like. So a blue one, sorry for the glare, blue one and a pink one like that. So obviously this one will go on Adriana's tree and this one will be for Christopher's tree. So the next thing I want to show you is some of my bigger, newer items. The first thing is this really cute gnome Santa. I thought this guy was so adorable and I could not pass him up. Um, he's just like a plush um, gnome, I suppose, with this big grey Santa hat. He's got a little um, button nose and obviously a white beard. And he does wobble around like that. And he's got really sturdy, I think there's metal in these legs, um, with these big grey boots. And this guy was $16.00. And it's just called a large Santa gnome and he was from Kmart. So, and another large, um, I guess, little figurine thing that I got is this snowman. Isn't he cute as well? So he's like a lantern I want to describe him as. Um, so it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a metal frame and it's just got like tinsel wrapped around him to make his body and his face and he's got a really cute little nose um buttons like so little arms and yeah a really cute little snowman and this guy was eight dollars fifty and i just got him from our local like dollar store here in australia so yeah really cute little 
snowman. This thing I've got, and I think my son will absolutely love this, um, but it's this caravan. Um, so this actually does light up, and I'm sorry, it's still wrapped up in plastic, so it's a bit glary from the natural light behind me. Um, but yeah, it's a little caravan. It's got Merry Christmas on the top there, and it's got that um, raw wood look about it as well. And this guy was $10 from Kmart. The thing I picked up is this beautiful globe. Is it called a globe? Snow globe? Yeah, snow globe. Um, this reminds me of Frozen, which is the hype this year with the new movie coming out. And my daughter's absolutely so excited for the new movie, which we will be seeing this coming weekend. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful silvery um, snowy globe and it does switch on and off. It does need batteries, but it does light up. And this thing was 20 $24.99 and I got this from my local dollar store as well. Obviously not a dollar, but they do have more expensive items from there too. I'm excited to see what this looks like when it's all, um, when the batteries are in there and it's turned on at night. So yeah, just a beautiful snow globe. The next thing I got is from Target and it's this tabletop lantern that looks like this. I thought this would be perfect for my dining table. Um, I'm not sure if this candle, yeah, it does. It does light up. You need batteries for that too, of course. But yeah, the candle does light up as well. Um, yeah, I just thought this was really like a beautiful traditional piece that I can put on the dining table to just jazz up the dining table a little bit. And yeah, like I said, this one was from target and it doesn't have a price i'm sorry about that i think it was around 15 dollars okay i did get some new baubles this year as well um so these are the ones i picked up i already have a whole heap of baubles but i just wanted to get some extra ones because we did get a new tree this year so i went for silver and white i'm really going for the like wooden but like um wonderland like snowy wonderland kind of theme this year I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'll see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, this is what I picked up as extra baubles this year. So silver and white. And these were from Big W for only $2.50, I think, a pack. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal if you're after like white and silver um, baubles. They did have different colors as well. But I don't know if they were the same price um, as these ones here. But... Yeah, that's what they look like. Super pretty. And yeah, can't wait to decorate the tree with these. Now, because I did go for a green tree this year, but I was really hoping for like a bit of a, like a snowy effect to the tree, I ended up finding these snow sprays. Um, I got two different kinds. I got one that actually glows in the dark. I didn't actually mean to pick that up, but yeah, I got it anyways. It does say ideal for decorating trees and reefs. Use with stencil to decorate windows as well. So this is the glow in the dark one if you're interested. Um, I got these just from my local like dollar, dollar store. Um, so yeah, just this snow spray. And this is a, just another version of it, I suppose. But it's not a glow in the dark. It's just a normal snow spray. So yeah, I'm just hoping I could spray a little bit of this snow on my tree. And it will give it that like snowy effect. Um, yeah, I'll see how I go. Hopefully I won't destroy the tree by using these and maybe I will need to buy a couple more bottles of these because it is a pretty big tree. But, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. The next thing I've got is this beautiful set here. So this is what it looks like. This one was from Target and it was $20. So my family and I are quite traditional when it comes to Christmas and all that. Um, obviously it's not just about the presents, it's about the meaning behind Christmas. So I wanted to add this to our decor this year so we can have those conversations with our kids and just remind them about what Christmas is actually about. It's not just about presents, but it's about the birth of Jesus and celebrating, um, you know, his birthday and all that. So 
I thought this would be a great piece to incorporate into our decor this year and have those conversations and explain to the kids exactly what Christmas um, is all about. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a really cute set. It does come with little animals as well and like a little Hessian thing to lay everything down on. The next thing I got is a Christmas mat for the front door. So this is the one I picked up. It just says Merry Christmas like so. And yeah, I just thought it'd be really nice and festive to have this outside as you walk into our front door. And this is just a yeah Merry Christmas doormat. And it was from Kmart. It was from Kmart, but I don't remember how much it was. I'm sorry. I don't think it was more than like 10 or $20. So um, have a look in your local store if you're looking for one of these. But yeah, I just picked it up from Kmart. The next Christmas decor thing I got is this beautiful silver house. How beautiful is this? It really does go with my snowy white theme that I'm going for this year. So it's all very glittery and sparkly with these two trees at the front and a little fence around um, the sides there. And this was $15 from... Hmm, I think it was from Big W. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would be really sweet. He's actually putting glitter all over my couch right now. So I don't know when it will stop doing that. Hopefully it won't make a whole big mess of my living room as I decorate. But I just think it's super pretty. And yeah, I couldn't pass it up. The next thing I got is this beautiful scented candle from Kmart. This is the one I picked up. So it's like a lilac color tin and inside it's got the three wicks like so. I don't remember how much this one was. I'm sorry guys. I bought it a little while ago but it smells, it just smells really fruity and fresh. So I really like that scent. And yeah, I can't wait to burn this around the house once I start decorating everything. So every year I try and get some different decor items to put on the tree. So I did get some new ornaments this year to add to our new tree. So the first one is this um, rustic looking one with a reindeer and some Christmas trees behind it or just some trees behind it. And it's like in this clear um, ball I suppose. So it just says hanging field bauble and this was $5 from Big W. The next one I got is this hanging Santa on the swing and he was $4 from Big W as well. Another ornament that I got is this reindeer head that looks like this. This was $3 from Big W and it does have some glittery um, antlers on the back but I actually prefer it this way so just nice and plain but yeah this was three dollars from big w last ornament that i got is this beautiful fairy that looks like this so silver fairy holding a little wand and she was four dollars from big w as well the next thing i got is this christmas tinsel and it's five meters long i got this from kmart for five dollars and it's like a snowy looking tinsel like I said I'm going for that snowy look this year and I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this I'm not going to actually put this on the tree I'm going to put this more on like where I'm going to decorate everything so I'll see what I end up doing with this um, but yeah I just thought this was really cool and something different the next thing I got is a bunch of nutcrackers I have never actually bought any nutcrackers for Christmas decorations but um, yeah, I found these ones this year and I couldn't pass them up. This first one is this big silver one. This one was from Target and I think it was only like $8 or something like that. So it's just like a silver nutcracker and its mouth does move up and down like that. So, so super cool and I'm sure my um, kids will be playing with this. And then I also found this three set of nutcrackers. These are actually ornaments that you can hang on the tree or you can just sit them like so um, as decorations on like a mantelpiece or a shelf or something like that. And yeah, super cute. I think this was actually from Coles, um, but I don't remember how much it was because we picked it up when we were grocery shopping. So yeah, three pack of little nutcrackers like that and they're all in gold. 
The next thing I got is actually something to put in my vase. I like to decorate my vase and change it up during the different seasons and also the different holidays. So this is the one I picked up this year to add to my vase. As you can see, I'm going for the whole snowy effect this year and yet again. I got this from Big W for $12 and it's four tree um, picks like that. I thought if I bunch them all together, it'll be like a nice um, piece to put in a vase. The thing I got is this wooden Christmas tree. I thought this was super cool. And again, it goes with that rustic wooden look. And it says, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year on the actual wooden pieces. Like that. It's got a wooden stand as well. This one was from Target. And I think it was only like... Seven or eight dollars, I want to say. Next thing I got is this gold table runner. So I roll this out onto our dining table and then put this on top of it like that. So that's my idea and thinking behind it buying these two pieces. So yeah, it's just a gold. It's just a gold table runner that looks like that. Really cool texture on it. The next thing I got are these things here um yeah they look a bit scary on the screen there but these are just stocking hangers so we don't have a fireplace but and while we're talking about stockings i might as well show you the stockings that i'll be using for my kids this year i actually bought these last year from tk maxx so if you have seen my last year's Christmas haul video you would have already seen these but just in case you haven't seen that video I thought I'll show it in this video so this is what the stockings look like they're just like a cream plush color with these beautiful um, gold embroidered details like that and they are super super big so you can see how long these stockings are obviously it bought two because I've got two kids and I believe these were $24.95 from TK Maxx. So yeah, that's what they look like. You can fold the top of that down like so. And it's got like a little um little hook there. So I can use that to hook it onto this. And oops, it goes the other way. And yeah, that's the stockings for this year. And the last thing I want to show you is for a new Christmas tree that I got this year. I actually got um, these, I think they're called tree collars. So they, they obviously come in two pieces, but they attach like that and they sit under your tree. So these um, are used obviously instead of tree skirts, which I have been using up until this year. But I found... Um, but I saw trees decorated in the catalogue uh, with these collars on the bottom of them. And I thought it was a much neater way to kind of finish off the tree. Um, and yeah, I thought I'll give this a go this year and see how I like it with our new tree. I went for the white one. You can get different shades. Some are like a wooden effect, some are grey. Um, but I just went with the white one because obviously I'm going for like a snowy theme and I find that white's nice and clean and fresh and modern and all that. So yeah, I just went for the white one. I got this one from Target as well and it was $20. Sorry, I thought that was the last thing, but it's not. This is actually the last item that I've got for Christmas this year. And it's this big crate here, wooden crate. And this is gonna be used for our Christmas Eve box. I was actually on the hunt for this last year. And every time I went to the store to find it, it was sold out. And I don't think they restocked them because it was just so popular and they just sold out and they kept selling out every time they got new stock. But this year I finally got my hands on it and this is what it looks like. It's got special delivery from the North Pole. It's really nice and deep as well. And yeah, I'll definitely be using this for the kids Christmas Eve box where I'll be stacking a lot of stuff in there to get them excited for Christmas morning. If you're interested in seeing what I'll be giving my kids for Christmas Eve or for their Christmas Eve box, 
please do again subscribe down below thumbs up the video and i'll be sure to make that video as well so that is the end of my haul i hope you have enjoyed watching i got some inspiration from some of the items that i've showed you in this video for maybe decorating your own house or just little extra bits and pieces that you want to still pick up for your christmas decor this year if you have enjoyed watching please do give it a big thumbs up it will really help out my channel a lot and don't forget to subscribe as well. I'll be doing a lot more videos coming up very, very soon during this month of December. I'm super excited. This is always my favorite but busiest month of year, as I'm sure it is for a lot of you as well. But I'll be um, putting up a lot more content this month. Fingers crossed. I'll definitely be filming what we are buying my kids for Christmas this year. And I know that's a very, very popular video on YouTube. I hope I won't get it out too late. I'm still buying bits and pieces, so hopefully it'll be up soon. But yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.